first time is never easy. And software is no exception. We want to help make the transition to a new system as seamless as possible from the very beginning. That's why we've offered these tutorials and manuals. Watch them in the order they're presented so that you don't have to backtrack. Once that's done, you'll be completely set up and ready to go. The first step, if you use QuickBooks, is to sync all your customer information with ClipITC to make data entry easy and less repetitive. After creating your ClipITC account, go to the silver icon and click Settings. Then, make sure the box Use QB Online is checked, and click Connect to QuickBooks. Select the company file you want to use and click Continue. Now, Authorize. Once the connection is made, you'll see this box. Go to the QuickBooks tab, select everything you want to transfer into ClipITC, then select Import Data. Once the syncing is complete, you'll see this information letting you know everything that transferred. Now all the customer, item, and class information you had in QuickBooks is in ClipITC. You want to take a look at your customers by going to the Customers tab after the sync, just to make sure that everything transferred correctly. Once that's done, you can set up the rest of your information. Go to the Settings icon again and click Company Info, then Edit Company Info. Here you can enter all the information that has to do with your company and press Save. Next, you need to set up your employees. Start by going to the Employee tab. Click on New Employee and enter all their information including their name, hourly rate, and contact information. After all your employees are added, you need to set up your crews. A crew is a group of employees that do a route together. Smaller companies might have one crew for each of the services they offer. For instance, a landscaping crew and a mowing crew but larger companies would have more than one crew for each of their services. To set them up, go to the Customize tab, Crew, and Add. Enter the crew number, starting with 1, then enter the description. Here you see all of the employees you added. Just select the employees that will be part of this crew and click the single arrow. The double arrow will transfer all of the employees. Once that's done, choose the foreman and press save. The crews might not always be consistent and changing them is very easy. If you need to make an adjustment, just click the edit button and make the changes. The last thing you'll need to do in the initial setup process is adding materials. When you add a job for a customer, you'll be able to add materials to it with the correct quantity. For instance, two yards of mulch to a landscaping job. The crew will be able to see it on the route sheets, so they know exactly what to buy and use for the job. Another reason it's useful is because you can pull reports on how much material you used and if you need to charge more for the material next year. To add materials, go to the Customize tab, Material, and Add. The part name is what you'll see when you choose the material, so you'll want it to be succinct and descriptive. The material name can be a more specific description. Then select the quantity type, what it costs you, and what you will charge the customer for it when you create the estimates. The active ingredient multiplier is only applicable with chemical materials. Once that's done, click save and you'll see your material listed here. You may need to make more than one material in clip for some types of material. For example, you might put black mulch in two different types of quantities according to the job, like square feet and square yards. And you probably sell a few different colors of mulch, like red, brown, and black. Add all the materials you use for your company. If you're ever creating a job and material hasn't been added yet, add the material first, then continue editing the job so that all your reports are correct. After all this is set up, company information, employees, crews, and materials, you're ready to go through the rest of the tutorials in the order that they're listed. Thanks for watching, and if you have any trouble, don't hesitate to contact our support department by phone or email. 
and as always, your success is our business.